Okay, welcome back. This is part six of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last video, we pretty much uh, um, did some stuff, which I don't remember what it was, even though it was like ten minutes ago. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to style our like our default links, like you see here. This is just this random, like, the default blue color, and it doesn't really work with our website. And you click it, and it's that purplish color. It doesn't really match our website at all, so we're going to go ahead and style that. So we want to go to our main.css file, and we just want to scroll down. And I'm actually just going to put this at the very bottom of the page. So I'm just going to go a couple lines down, just throw in some comments, and not put anything right now. And all we want to type is an A, and then our curly brackets. So we want to set our color to um, pound 2, 4, A, 24A 3F2, uh, and that's that's this nice looking blue color that I'm I'm going to use for my site, um, and I'm also going to set the text on, uh, dash uh, decoration, and I'm going to set that to none, so it's going to get rid of our underline. So if I refresh, we have this blue color, and we don't have the underline under it anymore. But there's nothing special about when we roll over the over the over the uh, the link. So we want to create a new style, and we want to say a colon hover. So we're going to change the color of the link to um, what was it? I'm gonna come over here onto my second screen. I have my color. Um, color is E D four five. Okay, so I was getting a phone call, so I paused my video. Um, so the color is uh, ED4545, and that's this, uh, this reddish color. So when we hover over, we have this nice red hover effect. So it's really nice. Uh, now, this doesn't necessarily go with the site itself, because the site's like kind of grayish, brown type thing. But I really like the, this color combination, this light, lightish blue and then a red. So that's what I'm going with. And I'm actually going to change this to 6, because this is part 6. So, that is the end of this video. Uh, the source code will be available in the description. It'll actually just take you to the source code page here on uh, basicnick.com. And right after I end this video, I'm going to go ahead and FTP the files up, and it'll be good. So, that's the end of this video. Um, in the next video... Um, I don't know what I'm going to start on with. It's probably going to be the login registration process. Or if there's something else you want me to definitely start with, uh, just post a comment and I will read them. So, thanks for watching.